Hey there, dear Runeterra community, and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra ranked video. I'm, of course, yours truly, the Little Giant, and today we are obviously playing ranked again, as you can already see on the title of this video. And as per usual, by the way, in the last season, I actually managed to get into Gold 4 just before the season ended. And um, the thing is, that when you reach golden golden if you reach gold four you get plummeted down like four uh what's the terminology ranks i guess uh, you get plummeted down four ranks which means now i'm back to silver four basically back to where i started off uh, at the last season at the very least but i'm gonna play a little bit more ranked uh to get to the place that, that i want to be at which is like Somewhere around the high perimeters of gold, at the very least. And uh, how are we going to accomplish this, is the question. With one particular deck that is considered by good old Swim as a tier 1 deck. And it's actually one of the most uh, fun decks in the entire game, I would say. Uh, well, maybe not the entire thing, because, you know, uh, I'm a really big fan of Deep. Which is a little bit more fun to me. But, um, aside from that, it's this card, Aggro. Which was, I guess, uh, tier 2 in the last uh, patch. And now, with this patch, it actually uh, ranked up to being a top meta deck at the moment. And the thing is, this deck is not your run-of-the-mill aggro deck. Because it actually requires you a little bit of thinking. Which I definitely like. So, what is this card aggro? This card aggro is basically a whole mechanic that you play cards that discard other cards and when you discard a card like some cards have the effect that when you discard them you play them instead which is definitely pretty cool so what do we what do we have for that we have poro cannon aka the thick cannon which uh which is a burst spell for zero mana and to play discard one and you create two daring poros in hand which are these two one one elusives we have Draven's Biggest Fan, which is a 2-1 at 1 mana, and when he's summoned, move Draven to the top of your deck if you don't have him in hand or in play. If you already have a Draven in hand or in play, it basically does nothing, it just gives you the 2-1 right here. But obviously, moving a Draven to the top of your deck is pretty damn neat. We have Jury Rake, which is something we never want to play, because when cast or discarded, that's the thing, summon a Scrap Scuttler. So we can basically, basically play Poro Cannon for 0 mana, Discard a Jury Rig, and since we discard Jury Rig, Jury Rig actually gets played, and it summons a 1 1 Scrap Scuttler right here. We have Rummage, discard 2 to draw 2. So if we have like two Jury Rigs, we can just. This is actually a dream. You have like a. You have two Jury Rigs in hand, you use Rummage on both Jury Rigs. Since you discard them, you get two 1 1 Scrap Scuttler on the board, and you also draw two thanks to Rummage, which is. Pretty damn neat. If you have exactly, exactly one other in card in hand, discard one to draw one. Self-explanatory. We have Zornite Urchin. Awesome card, by the way. Definitely love her. She's a 2-1 for one mana. And uh, her thing is, if you play her, you discard a card to draw one. Which is all pretty neat. So she cycles herself. Also, we can use it on Jury Rig, for instance. Or, by the way, which you also have in the deck... Uh, where is he? Flame Chunkers, as I like to call him. The good, good old Flame Chompers. Challenger, 0-2, and when he's discarded, summon me. Pretty damn good. Also a pretty good discard outlet, outlet obviously. Never really want to play this. We just want to you, you, we just want to discard it so we can basically play it for free. Uh, good to get some lethal damage in to just, you know, challenge another um, creature that would otherwise prevent us from going in with the lethal damage. We have Arena Battlecaster, who actually comes into play multiple times in the, in today's session. He's a 2-2. He has one of the um, most amazing um, voice actors in the entire game, by the way. He gets really hyped for this deck. And when he attacks, give other battling allies plus one, plus zero this round, which is pretty damn neat. And it stacks, which means if you have multiple ones multiple ones of these guys out, then it gets, if you have two out, it's plus two plus zero, and if you have three out, it's plus three plus zero, which can be definitely really detrimental. We have House Border for early game aggro. It's a two mana two two who summons a Spiderling, which is a vanilla one one. So great value out of this. We have Draven, obviously, as our first hero. He's a three three, quick attack, play or strike, you create a spinning axe in hand, and if you've struck with two total spinning axes, you can, your, your Draven gets buffed to a 4-4 with Overwhelm and Quick Strike. And if you play or strike, you create two Spinning Axes in hand. And also his special ability that we're going to see, I think, maybe in one of the games, is actually Whirling Death, which is pretty good. A battling ally strikes a battling enemy and 
your creature doesn't get damaged from the other creature, which is pretty damn good. So if you use it on Draven, we get a, we get a Spinning Axe in hand as well. And the Spinning Axes, by the way, are zero mana burst speed, which gives plus one plus zero. But to play it, you have to discard one. And we actually, this one, we can also use as a discard outlet for, for instance, for Rummage or um, for Poro Cannon. If we have, like, a valuable hand and we don't want to toss anything and we have already played a Draven or attacked with Draven, then we can just use the Spinning Axis if the rest of our hand is too valuable, which is pretty good. Next one is Get Excited, which is a good finisher as well to play. Discard one, deal three to anything. Pretty awesome card, obviously. We have Vision, which is something you never see, I think, outside of this card. When cast or discarded, because usually it's a 3-mana one at burst speed, however, but when cast or discarded, grant all allies plus 1, plus 0. Note that word, grant, which means it doesn't disappear uh, over the turn. Your creatures keep that stat line, which is awesome. Next, we have Crowd Favorite. Who comes into play in one particular game, by the way. When I'm summoned, grant me plus one, plus one for each other ally you have. And as you can see in our... Whoops, that's wrong. If you can see in our curve, by the way, we are really early game dependent. We have 11 one drops, 9 two drops, and 8... That's also 9 three drops. And uh, obviously, you know, our creatures are rather cheap. This one gets two daring poros. This one gets, a, gets like uh, one scrap scuttler. And this one gets a house spider and another spiderling. So, yeah, getting this guy to like a 6-5, for instance, is actually pretty damn easy. And then we have Jinx as our second one, because the thing is we tend to run out of gas. Because sometimes we also need to discard a card just because to remove, just because we want to remove something with Get Excited, for instance, and we might toss out a house spider, uh, or maybe even a Zonite Urchin, and we don't get any value out of that. So we... There, there could be a problem that we run out of cards, and that's where Jinx come into play. Com comes, comes into play. She's a 4-3 for 4 mana, quick attack, and when your hand is empty, she actually levels up. Round start, draw 1, so you draw 2 every turn, which is pretty awesome. And each round, the first time you empty your hand, create a super mega death rocket in hand, which is this beautiful thing, which comes in as, at slow speed, 1 mana, fleeting. Deal 4 to the enemy nexus and 1 to all enemies. Really damn amazing. 4 damage to the Nexus is really good. And then we finish it off with Augmented Experimenter. Discard your hand. Draw 3. Deal 3 to an enemy. And the cool thing about this is since your hand is empty, and we uh, let's say we, ha we have leveled up Jinx. We play Augmented Experimenter with 0 cards in hand. We just play this guy. Deal 3 to an, to an enemy creature. Get the Super Mega Death Rocket and draw 3. Off of that for six mana. Fucking neat, my friends. Fucking neat. Obviously, this one is uh, for late game, also le uh, levels or helps in leveling up uh, good old Jinx. By the way, which also gets buffed to a 5 4 stat line if you uh, manage to level her up. And uh, the cool thing also about Augmented Experimenter, like that's obviously also the best card scenario, if we have just discard cards in hand, like Jury Reek, we have maybe Flame Jumpers, and we have Vision. Then we can play Augmented Experimenter, everything of that procs. We basically empty our entire hand, but it gets activated because everything is discard, is, is uh, like reliant on discard. And then you also draw three, you refill your hand basically. Jinx also makes you to draw two if she's leveled up, she makes you draw two at the start of each turn. And since it's late game and since our cards are really, really cheap to play, we can empty our entire hand again and just get the Super Mega Death Rocket for Jinx for a lethal. Um... Yeah, one of the most um, fun and most versatile aggro decks I would play. It's not like just stupid, like play everything on curve and then just rush face. You actually have to think sometimes like maybe you want to discard here. Maybe you want to play a creature. Maybe you want to keep this creature to discard it. It's really interesting um, and uh, I really like the whole thing. And by the way, also the thing is with Rummage, if we have three cards in hand and we use Rummage, we discard two and Jinx is on the board, that also levels up Jinx. Like, you level her up, but then you also have two cards because you draw two with Rummage. But at one point, your hand is completely empty. So Jinx also levels up from that, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, that's the deck tech. Um, this card aggro, I am not the best at piloting this deck, so... Um don't get too mad at me for misplaying, because there are some misplays coming in. Uh, I can definitely assure you that. But um, yeah, that was it for the deck tech. Uh, hope you enjoy the games, and i see you in the games, I guess. I gotta work that out somehow. But yeah, enjoy the games. First game and we are up against Swag Boy Slim. 
<laughs> Vladimir Sway Nizzle for Shizzle. Terrible. Let's see if we can get that better. <laughs> All right. Ooh, with the double proc aim. Actually, I heard about this deck. Gonna see if it's as annoying as I heard. It's Draven time. Let's rock on! Doesn't look too hot. But we'll see. Has all arrived. Gloriously. Mm. It's plus one, but doesn't kill anything. Like this thing. <sighs> Get wrecked. One mana, don't doubt that he has anything, and that's the case. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Alright then. Recon! <clears throat> and, wow, alright. He surrendered. Damn, I'm good. All you, <laughs> all you, Draven. All you. <laughs> Didn't anticipate that, to be honest. Like, it was looking pretty good, because we went wide. And the enemy didn't have much to go off of, because, you know, he just basically cleared his entire board by himself. <laughs> but, I mean, he still had a chance, because, you know, Vladimir, maybe he didn't have him... Maybe he didn't have him on hand. Maybe we could have won one there, but... Mm, was looking, was looking alright. Was looking alright. Num game number three against Twisted Buck. Playing against Dehu and Dizzle. Or Dehu and Diddle, as I also like to call it. Mm, got some. Well, they are gonna get removed if he has. How's, how's the guy called? Ooh, Fresh Soil. You know that guy. But. Yeah, we're gonna full Mulligan actually. So it's not gonna do much, and he definitely has that card. That's a little bit better. We have a Draven. I can deal with a Kalista if he decides to drop that early. It's Draven time. We have a discard outlet for Zonite Urchin, but... But nah. Do I want to take the damage? Sure. <clears throat> Don't want to drop. Don't want to play like Urchin into Vision now. <clears throat> that's three manners, yes. So that's Kalista versus Draven potentially next turn. Blighted Caretaker, by the way. Jesus, that's the one I was looking for. Ah, God damn it, man. 
Aren't you just the best? He ain't. Draven time. We can actually play Battlecaster into Urchin. We can also drop a Jinx. He can play a Black Spear because he doesn't have Kalista out. And he didn't, and nothing. Well, yeah, something got killed actually on his side. The fucking. What's his face? Cursed Keeper, there you go. <clears throat> what does he want from me? Do I just play a Jinx? Or Urchin? God damn. Now it's getting confizzled. What are you waiting for? I think I'm gonna play a jinx. Yes. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings or people. You should try blinking sometime. Cause yeah, there's no fear of um grasp. As that is five mana. They never stop. I know that feeling, bro. I guess. Mm. Can play the booty cannon, but I don't think it's necessary. Chucking on a Bobby, might. Looking at 10 damage. <clears throat> I wanna go home. Just leave me alone. Looking at a dead zero damage to the face, but you know. Yeah no. But now we have a free outlet for Poro Cannon. Or we can play Poro Cannon for free, rather. Only problem now is that I don't have any blockers for, for this shit. We're looking at 7 damage from these two, 8 damage with the Spiderling. Putting this down to 3. If he doesn't play anything... <clears throat> Then I can play Experimenter, get rid of this thing, which doesn't, doesn't sound too bad. How did he get that? That's weird. I don't know, he got that guy. Hmm. That's Reckon! <laughs> That's two damage for free every time, by the way. If I get these two guys out and attack with the Battlecaster. <laughs> Let's make sure we dump our entire hand. I also play Zonite Ur Urchin, just toss the Draven's biggest fan away, and then I can get aug Augmented Experimenter next turn. If I get a two mana spell, great. Actually, I don't need to play her. Let's preserve the spell mana. Problem is we just get killed by a doom, doom beast. But he needs to play something first, which is good. Um, let's kill this thing off. 
We get this for free. Actually, no, because, you know, our board is filled entirely already. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and the resign. And it was bound to happen. Didn't have the best curve there. Don't worry, we get that back. We have arrived at the docks. And we play against Darkness. Frailyard Ionia with Zed Brom and Trindomizzle. That's an alright curve, actually. We don't have anything to discard other than Experimenter. But that's a little bit further down the line. We can get... Ooh. Alright. I was about to say, we can play Draven's Biggest Fan and then just get a Draven on top deck. <clears throat> Which doesn't do anything, by the way, if we have him in hand already. Mom Spaghetti. Main event. But still, you know. 2-1 is a pretty good starter, I would say. Yeah, not gonna do anything with that. Just don't get a Braum. And we are cool. Sure. Spread out a bit. Get that Draven on the board. Me too, kiddo. Me too. <laughs> Great. And we can actually go Spinning Axe into Vision. Just playing Vision for zero mana is just fucking amazing. Amoising. <clears throat> Braum is... what was he? Like, four? Yeah, he was four mana. Need victims. Yeah, this kills everything, actually. Block. Yes. Yes. Nice. He could have Brittle Steel. For the money makers. Sweet. Got this thing off the board, which is a little bit, or can be a little bit of a threat. We also diminished our board presence a little bit. Oh. 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 Great. The big boys. I think we're gonna get about ready to get Reckon. Yeah, pretty much my feeling when I see this guy. <laughs> Four, eh? Reckon! <laughs> Gotta love this guy. However, uh, Experimenter actually deals with this, but I need like two more turns until I can play this guy. Could have waited maybe one turn to get some, get like Jira Rig or something. <clears throat> yeah, like that. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Yep. We can level up Draven, which I think would be pretty good, because we have some really cool discard outlets for Rummage and stuff like that then, because we get like double spinning axes. But removing this by just putting the spinning axes on the Battlecaster also seems kind of cool. Unless he doesn't block at all. We can also deplete our hand a bit. Oh, he could have... Yeah. 
Ah, something like that. Mm. Okay. I accept it. A little bit. A little bit. This fucker. Oh, perfect. Let's play some poros. Yep. Play them poros. Now Jinx into Experimenter, maybe, next turn. Or maybe Experimenter right away. Depends on what he plays. <laughs> well, deal three to an enemy. Not sure if the Nexus also counts. Yeah, nah. Nah, boy. Not gonna happen. And them. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, let's go. Of something. We get the level up for Jinx. Oh, that could be... Yeah, deny. Ah, uh, kinda sucks, but I still get the level up for Jinx anyways. Right? No? Oh, well, I mean, crowd favorite is also nice to have. Um... Yeah. That's good. It's 4 damage clean. Talking to five and a four, two, four, two, six. So he should be down to three. He should kill both. Well, yeah, like if he kill, if he blocks here and here, he goes out with a trade pretty neat for him. Yeah, yeah, Jinx, chill, chill out. That's not, not good. He's dead. I'm for him. For me, it's that that is pretty good. <sighs> Fucking life steal, boy. But I have crowd favorite, and this guy is gonna be beefy. What do I get? Okay. This guy, though. This fucking guy right here. This guy. Jesus Christ. He is hype. And he does the body good. Yeah. The seed? Alright. Oh, he's gonna kill off my Jinx, by the way. That, that little rascal right here. That kinda sucks. Or he's gonna do that. Okay. Level up! Yeah! What you gonna do when Jinx comes for you? Now it's a party. Good, 
Just why not? Jinx clears. Technically. If I just play this. Like, if Jinx survives and I play this, if that doesn't kill him. Um, I should have attacked with him first, by the way, I just realized. But yeah, um, if Jinx survives, and he somehow survives this, then I can just play this, level up the Jinx, get the Super Mega Death Rocket. That still kills him. At 7 over lethal. That still kills him? Yes. Yeah. Who's gonna close up? <laughs> gonna close up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm fine. <laughs> Perfectly normal reaction to a Jinx win. <laughs> Perfectly normal. Is what my therapist says, anyways. Alright! This card angle coming through! Get him! Next game! Against PDB Azoka Tano! Playing against dragons! The Masizzle Targanizzle. I'm gonna burn your face, bruh. Fucking hate dragons. Lost against them once. Because apparently no one really plays it. But I don't want that shit to happen again. So I'm gonna make sure to fucking joke this guy. I don't even know what I'm, where I'm going with this. But I will. Trust me. Yeah, I'm going wide. I, I, I even attack with shit that doesn't make damage. That's cr I'm crazy. I'm fucking crazy here. <laughs> ah, cool story. Have some more board presence. Ramage. For the main event. Ramage. Pretty good on the Poros if I don't want to play him. Mm hmm. Nice. Get wrecked. Toss one. Damage. Hmm. He even gets value from that. Interesting. Well, Draven is gonna level up maybe next turn. If he doesn't have anything to to kill him off, that is. Uh huh. Nice. Um. Do I just rummage? <sighs> Chill out. Chill out, dude. Fuck it. No. You fucker. Well, I'm tossing that then. Deal some damage to the face. <clears throat> Damn shame, yeah. Ah, there he is. <laughs> right back at ya. Ah. The party has arrived. <clears throat> Dragon. 
Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we got this already. Let's see. Because he has zero mana. So let's see. Yeah. Ah, uh, not quite, but we're almost there. We're looking at 13 damage. Can't go face with this, sadly. Something! Mmm! <clears throat> mmm! Mmm! That's clean! And them. This is your end. What you got? Doesn't that kill him? Oh no, wait, yeah, come, yeah, fuck. Yeah, dragons apparently really bad. Or I just can't play around them. Get excited? That's it. Damn shame. Could have played that better. Could have played that way better, I'm not gonna lie. Next game against... Not even gonna try to pronounce that. Twisted Fate Swain. Standard. Standard. Bilgewater. Noxus. Uh, we can actually toss... Dr do we toss Draven or do we... Yeah, let's toss Draven. Because we can get him on top deck with biggest fan anyways. That justifies it. And we get like more... More different cards on the... In, in, in our hand as well. While also making sure that we get the Draven. Let's see if we can... If the enemy lets us do this. Twisted Fate was turn 4. Gotcha. Alright. Still three damage. We played a Swain before. Played? Yeah, we, and we played and won against the Swain before. But it was a different supporting character. Champion, hero, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Me too, kiddo. Me too. Hmm. Tosses. Uh, it could be a Twisted Fate. Watch and learn. Incoming. Awesome. So let's make sure we get value. Uh, 
That was kind of obvious. Let's get some damage in. We can get Jinx on the board as well. That's good. Our people! You should try blinking sometime. <laughs> Great to see these, these, these two on the board every time. Yeah, that was obvious. Funny thing is, we can <clears throat> go a little bit wide with the Poros, and then play crowd favorite, even and even Battlecaster. It's kind of good. Let's go wide for reckoning. Got some toss. Uh, Sadly, no. The seed. No, of course. Hmm. No. Him. Fucking sexist. <laughs> Jesus, what's the crowd favorites here? Something I don't quite understand, but sure. The seed. See what we can do here. You got legs. You got okay. I'll take it. The crowd favorites, though. <laughs> and another swain bites the dust. Always good to see. Not gonna lie. 